Hello wonderful people, this is Vipasha with a brand new video tutorial from the Wild Orchid Crafts. Today in my video tutorial, I will be demonstrating a beautiful way of creating a floral tiara or a Christmas ornament wreath using the different gorgeous products from the Wild Orchid Craft. I have listed down all the product details in the description box so you can have a look and grab your favorite one from the store. So let's start. So for this project, I grabbed a round frame from a dollar store and used a thread to hang the beautiful laser cut ornament from the Wild Orchid Craft. I'll be using all the white flowers and some colorful tulips for my creation. So I'll be noting down all the details in my description. I'm using a heat gun and adhering all the flowers. Onto my round frame randomly just to cover the frame as much as possible with the flowers. So once I was uh, done adhering the flowers and could cover almost uh, approximately 70% of the base frame, I was just winding the stems of the flowers onto my round wooden frame. I don't want them to be pricking out in my floral tyra, so I'm just rounding it and winding it around the frame. So once I was done doing that, I would move to the next uh, stage of the designing which involves using a different fern kind of uh, lace which I selected for my Tyra to give it some shabbiness and some gorgeous look. So I have this trim in my stash and as you can see the trim consists of two different kinds of threads and I'll be using these two different kind of threads for decorating my Tara in two styles. So let's see how we will do it. I'm just using some craft glue and we'll be using my paintbrush to cover the area of the round frame. The brush helps me to precisely Put the glue into the frame without creating too much mess and I'm just winding the shabby thread of the trim where the threads are coming out around the frame to so give it some shabbiness and shabby look. So once I was done winding the threaded part of the trim around my frame, I used the one which had the cotton balls to hang it from my uh, frame cut from the Wild Orchid Craft to give it some dimension and some to add some extra effect and interest onto my project. Next, I would be using some other smaller flowers in white from the Wild Orchid Craft to cover the slight area that are left out in the frame because I don't want to show any of the left part so I'm going to use 
uh, these flowers, you might have noticed that I have cut down the flowers, I mean cut out the branch from just the neck of the flowers because there is no much space to wind the stems as in now I have covered almost entirely the wreath. So I'm just going to cut out the stems of the flowers and just adhere the base directly onto the gaps that is provided in between the wreath. To add some extra effect, you can see I'm using some uh, foam balls from my Christmas decoration stash uh, just to give it a wintry and Christmas look. So once I was happy randomly adhering the Christmas balls in red and the white beautiful flowers, uh, I was planning to add some more interesting look onto my project and I thought it would be a better idea to put a picture into my project. I selected a gorgeous picture of these beautiful shoes in white and red that I felt would go perfect with my project and used my hot glue gun again to adhere it to the frame cut and to finish the look. I was very happy uh, the way the project came out and I believed the picture gave some extra effect to the entire look of the flower wreath. So next I used some more flowers from the wild orchid craft and just uh, poked it in between the gaps randomly around the wreath and in the frame cut. And finally, to finish the look, I used my white gesso from Prima to give some shabbiness onto the project. I used the white gesso and applied it randomly onto the floral petals to give some wintry look onto the entire project. So yes, that very much finishes our project. Hope you enjoyed watching the entire process. And if you really enjoyed the video, do hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay tuned to all my future video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day ahead. Bye-bye.